So, you just prayed a Fard Salah. You're the Imam. You're seated. Everybody, you know, in the line, you know, they either seated or they got up right after. You know, you have some Imam Munafiqeen. And I told somebody that. You have Imams who, you know, are there saying one thing and doing something else. You have Imams who know things and instead of them saying it, they won't. That I ran into last night. It's clearly what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it was, and it's the Hurul Ain. The, you know, the functions I've already talked about from an economical uh, standpoint, from a financial standpoint, إِنَّمْ صَدَقَاتُ لِلْفُقَرَاءِ وَالْمَسَاكِينَ is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. It's not لِلْبَالَتِشِنَ لِلْسَيَاسِينَ You all put sayasin in there, in your practices. You give them more than you would give to the African-American or the Native American, you know, because of the fact that they're not from your country. That's discrimination. And you're doing it clearly. The Imam says 95% of our problems would be solved if we would sincerely do for the next person as we want to be done. What we want to be done upon us, love, care, you know, attention, you know, uh, a morale booster, you know, self-esteem is sky high. You know, you, this, is, this is the type that you're just really, 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 really living it up. Why don't you, with your sincere intention, wish that for the person who has nothing at all? Why is it that we have to be like <coughs> Mr. Bill Gates, Mr. Bezos, Mr. Uh, Elon, <coughs> Elon Musk? Why? For what? You know, the problem, honestly, is that when we decide not to follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah is the creator, not Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Don't get it twisted, guys. You know, they rush, people rush to learn a hadith. They rush, but they don't rush deeper to understand how that hadith is connected from an eye of the Qur'an. And that's a very, very serious problem. You know, you have an imam who gives you know, a khutbah, and he mentions one ayah of Qur'an, and all these different hadith, right? <laughs> are, you, are you right? And then at the end, he tries to put another ayah in there, only that ayah, and the two ayahs do not go specifically together. There are other two ayahs that go with each one of those. But because, you know, we're so careless, you know, discriminatory-wise, we're so careless uh, financially, we're so careless with our educational system. We, you know, we, 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 we tend to care more for those who are members and from their country side or country boys or country girls side. You know, so the most important thing that I discovered was the fact that the Tawheed which is really the aqidah, which is really the discipline. There's no discipline. These people want to continue going on. You know, they're all producing the same exact result. The same exact results. Listen, you have a brother who comes from, you know, let, let them come from anywhere, such as um, anywhere. Just take a pick in the United States. Make sure it's a state. Go ahead. What, which one? Virginia. Okay. So, it's going to be like this. Let's say they're coming from Northern Virginia, right? Okay. When they arrive in Richmond, the first type of, now this is 95% of them, 95%. The first question that they will ask is, how are you? Where are you from? And then they will let you know, I'm from Northern Virginia, and I go to Adams Center. And oh, man, this, that place, man. Yeah, 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 man. A lot of Muslims there, man. Yeah, you know he has a lot of Muslims. Yep, a lot of Muslims. Uh-huh. Got a lot of traffic, too, though, doesn't it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A lot of traffic. Okay. The Muslims in Richmond and the Muslims in Northern Virginia, despite what you've exchanged back and forth as if, and you've never been to Adams Center, right? Example, at the end of the day, what they're producing and what you're producing here in Richmond is the same thing. 
you will have more Muslims there, but they will simply be the reason for them doing more, multiple projects at a time, which you would be lacking. But at the end of the day, the result is absolutely the same. You will find him 10 years later in that way he came from, and there will be the exact same thing going on. When you talk about infrastructure, Muslims here in America, they're able to do it, but they refuse to do it. You're talking about a banking system, an Islamic financial uh, equities. They don't want to do it. So this is the problem. When the people decide that they will do what it is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has instructed by the Quran, it will be done. And that's the reason and purpose that, you know, we have to say it definitely is, most definitely a revolution. 95% of people do not know the Quran, but they also do not practice the hadith that they've heard. Take, for example, somebody who, you know, after an entire week, Friday, and ask him, you've been coming and listening to the hadith here, right? He'll say yes. And when you ask him to quote you what hadith, one hadith from what it is that he got, brother, I'm telling you, you will lose. Do you know why? Brother, brother, listen to me. Not only would he not remember, right, any of the hadith, but he he won't even remember being there. Bro, he he doesn't remember even if he was there or not. He was like, "Are you sure it's me?" I'm telling you. I mean, because the level of munafiqeen is very high, and everybody knows it. They know that they're, 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 the rate of munafiqeen are too high. People who by default are munafiqeen, listen, you understand, they don't know by default that they are munafiqeen. They're doing things and saying things that Allah Ta'ala says, this is how munafiqeens are. See what I'm saying? And the problem now is that... <clears throat> As, as one who knows better, you're like, you know, getting more and more boastful. You understand? Like, you're getting more and more cocky, as a matter of fact, is, is really what we're trying to say. But I'm telling you, Junta is not playing, man. I'm letting... <laughs> Junta is not playing. People people just need to stop, you know, following the kuffar and the mushikin. And we have a lot of Imam al kazibin Imams that, that lie. And here's, you know, and I'm not... You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to say anything, you know, ill about anybody. That's why I'm not mentioning names. But listen to this. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the term hurul in hurul in Okay? Allah uses hurul in You know what hurul in are? No. No. Okay. So, I'm going to tell you what hurul in are. But before I tell you, I have to say, you know, it was most <clears throat> unlikely ever that I would have had the ability, and this was in the masjid, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as mean only. That's the only way I got, lo and behold, I mean, I was, <laughs> man, when Allah is talking about the Jannah and the rewards that the human being gets there, he mentions Hurul Ain. And so, as he got to Hurul Ain, as he got to the term, I was, I was just like, oh boy, he's going to say it. And I said to him, make sure you clarify. I said, make sure you clarify what Hurul Ain are. So, when he gets, <laughs> when he finally gets to Hurul Ain, he said that these are creations that Allah has made in Jannah. I said to him, well, yeah, that, that's, that's, very, that's very good. So exactly what are they? And he says, you, he says you know, these are the mates for the, um, the mu'mineen. 
mates. He, he, he's, he's thinking to get out. I said, yeah, but mates, but how? Explain what type of mates they are. <laughs> Listen. He said, brother, you know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, so, but can you clarify it because they have those two <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you, if you do not accept the Quran is most entertaining today, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Dude, the Quran is most entertaining. Listen. All right, let me get myself back together. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> so then, so then, subhanallah, subhanallah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. La hawla wa I said to him, but yeah, they could be malaika, they could be jinn, what are they? <laughs> Listen, my bad, man. Allah forgive me. May Allah forgive me. Okay. He said, they're women. I said, yes, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> because Allah Ta'ala explains very beautiful, very beautiful women for the mu'minin in Jannah. So, you know, say exactly what the ayah says. Why are you trying to sugarcoat the whole thing? <laughs> Listen, when that happened, people were doing like a high five, <laughs> a shake of a hand. <laughs> Dude, the Quran is true. And if you really think that what Allah is promising is not, I ain't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> so, Allah, man. That's pretty funny. <laughs> now, that's not the first time. Trust me, like people, if you, like, <sighs> subhanAllah, man, if you dig deeper into your own Quran, get tafsir, like read the English translation of the explanation, at least that. You know, no one is saying that you actually have to be hafiz to, to know Quran, but at least, you know, dig into like this, the meaning, you know, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing between the Quranic ayahs, you know between Baqarah and so many surahs of the Qur'an. Otherwise, I mean, it's like, whoa. <laughs> but the question is, how many other things do they actually sugarcoat? Because that's only one example. <laughs> Listen, that's one example of a possibility of 6,665. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Trust me, if you find one ayah that these people are not applying, they're not doing the right thing by this one ayah. And that one ayah is supported at least by another ayah, like... <laughs> and you have 6,000 chances, <laughs> and you go in there, you don't know 99% of the information. <laughs> Well, actually, I will give you a break on that. You actually know 3% of the information. <laughs> because it's all Quranic questions. And there are 6,666 ayahs. One ayah you've already flunked on it. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the situation. But can you imagine? And you have the nerve. You have the nerve to look down on other people, especially people of, you know, darker complexion. You have the nerve to look whether they're even from your subcontinent. And that's not right. This, 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 this aggression will not stand, you know. You will not, you know, uh, uh, take just various hadith, you know, in place of clearly what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. It's wrong. And that's why this Quranic revolution, uh, Ramadan of 2021, yes, is on full. Absolutely. Because this aggression against the Quran will not stand. This aggression is unacceptable. And uh, it is not just by no means whatsoever 
for there even to be tolerance of this. Honestly, if the Supreme Court itself would hear this case, they I'm sure, but we know that they don't decide on religious you know matters, so that's that. However, you know, the junta's here, so we ain't got to really do anything about anything else like that anyway, <laughs> but at least we're going to be blasting the news for sure. <laughs> Bro, alhamdulillah, man. Alhamdulillah, though. Alhamdulillah. I mean, we pray for everybody, you know. Pray everybody, you know, safe and sound, you know, everybody is doing well. You know, everybody. You know. Alhamdulillah. So, but yeah, th these are the type of, you know, malpractices that, you know, most are applying. As a matter of fact, there's a kid, two kids, two kids that I teach told me they thought one of the presidents at the centers were Allah. Seriously. Yeah, two kids. You know, uh, they were like, you know, when I go to masjid, I see Allah. I was like, really? Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> I said, explain what he looks like. And they described, you know, somebody that I know. And he is there. That's, you know, and that's sad. When the kids start to think that their imams, their khatibs are Allah, that does not differentiate Muslims from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. You know, that uh, the, the Christians say that Masih is, 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 the Christians say that Isa is the son of Allah. And the, um, in the Masih, they call Uzair Allah. Now, today the Muslims... Well, this, a lot of the, I mean, it has to be, at least for these kids, I would say. They actually see the presidents of the center as Allah. So, that being the case, how is it that we can accept that? That's unacceptable. And we have to call out on that. We will stand firm against that as well. The shirk, you know, it's all, uh, when you, let's say you decide to break the law. When you decide to break the law and cross that road, that's that's a new road now. You can do that at any given time. Their biggest wrongdoing is uh, unbecoming of Quran, of the basic Quran principles. It's not right. It's not fair. It's not just. And it will not stand because Allah Taala He's already endorsed. You know, full fledged. You know, in the Quran He certified that this is not acceptable. And it's strange because. A lot of the information comes out in the secrets, okay? The secrets of the Quran in the United States, I'm telling you. Because things will be, like, happening. And basically, we learn that these things are not supposed to be taking place. Or these things are taking place, and they're wrong. Every single time. You see what I'm saying? So, it's very, very harsh... <clears throat> to come across that information as we are coming across it. And um, what can we say? We still have maybe about two more months of this, you know, the Tafsir Ibn Kathir, maybe two more months. Allah knows best, but, um, you know, 25 out of 30 is not, is not bad, you know. We just pray we finish it. But, yeah, I mean, people, like, if you took your time and really just dug deep down into the clear, you know, linguistical Arabic of the Qur'an, and you just develop yourself with that, do you know you would, you would, you, you, you would be much better than practically 95% of people, 95% of Muslims, for sure. If you decided to do that in any given moment, you just started to do it and just put the time aside. So when people decide to go forward in that nature, they take a step towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rushes towards them. You know what I'm saying? That's the honest, especially under these circumstances. That's why the People's Republic of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah are not playing around. It's not a joke, it's not a game, and it's not something that, you know, will stand. Again, it will not stand. So that's, that's that. 
But um, <laughs> when you you just throw one ayah here, you give half of the explanation of your explanation, and then you give the other half, and then um, you practically go on your own way with what it is that you want people to to know about, like what you're saying. You didn't really get it from the Quran or from the Sunnah. And actually, some of it you admitted saying, like, you know, I don't really know where this comes from, but let me quote it. That's wrong. You didn't even completely explain the ayah, like the one ayah. You didn't even give it justice. What are you talking about? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the problem. Like, people have definitely taken, and again, you know, somebody is reciting Quran, and you're like, listen, man, we're telling a hadith over here. Can you quiet down? That's wrong. That's the, Allah's house. Allah has more right in his house than anybody even Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, again, it's what it is that the people ha are deciding to do. They're going to join the People's Republic of La ilaha illallah. That's very simple. You know, you gather together and we start to definitely, you know, make it clear. But one who does not practice what it is that they do not know of the Qur'an, Allah will ask them about that. If you say you're Muslim and you believe in the Qur'an and you're, you know, not practicing that, and you're not giving any kind, any time whatsoever to that Quran in any given day, even one day is, is too much. You're wrong to, to recite how it was revealed with the proper tajweed. You cannot even do that. You're wrong. Allah will ask you, why not? Why not? What was better for you on that earth? You're going to be like, yo, my bills. <laughs> yo, and Allah created you, and he said, I will sustain you. I will never let you go flat. Let's do this. So this is the problem now. People want to know the 20 years of, of warfare. How was it that, you know, everybody knew that the People's Republic of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from day one did not support the invasion of Afghanistan. Never. You understand what I'm saying? And of yeah. course, when it was over, I mean, I, I got like, you know, Congratulations on your dua was very, <laughs> that type of thing. You see what I'm saying? Like, subhanAllah. You know, one brother definitely, he said your duas were answered. I said, hey, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, people everywhere just need peace. We need peace. And the president of the United States of America, he should sign something, a bill, where all the rich people, the top 10%, what it is that they're making, what it is that the top 10% in any given year of making, he just give that to the poor people at the bottom. He's going to win re-election, man. I'm telling you. If he fights poverty, just do, imagine that. Like, all you 10% rich people the fundraising for the entire country, like, you know, we're trying to make sure that our youth, you know, will remember us. This is a declaration of war on poverty. No poor person in America ever, 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 ever for the next. You do the calculation. Like, holy smokes, no more poor people for, ten, for the next 10 years. That's part of the work that needs to be done. Huh? What's that? I said that's part of the work that needs to be done. Listen, listen can you imagine that? But do you know that if the top 10% decided that they were going to write a check for everything that they, all their expenses for one year, and gave that to the bottom 90% or whatever, do you do you realize like that will like sustain people's needs for like ten years? Do you know that they have they have the ability to just pull the trigger on poverty just like that? But no, and this is the reason why you know next election presidential. <laughs> I don't know about Write that one. Letter. Yeah. Write them a letter. What's that? Put them you gotta write them a letter. They won't know unless they're told or informed. They don't know, so they keep living the way they're living. And if they're informed and they keep doing the way they're living, that's that's the uh, demerit against them for the hereafter. You know, that's but, it, but see, what this this what I'm saying is that practically <clears throat> all of us, you know, should invest more time, you know, in uh, in the strategic plotting of. The, the the movement of the revolution of the Quran 2021 seriously because it's extremely clear that Allah's power is suffice for this entire world. Okay. Allah, wallahi, wallahi. I mean, think about it. Allah subhanahu wa taala wants something, then He says, "Being it is." So, subhanallah, and and a lot of people said it's between the two words. 
between B and it is. It's not even, you know, that he says B, <laughs> subhanAllah, you know. He has that much knowledge, that much power. So, subhanAllah, man. SubhanAllah. Because me, I'm more, you know, I have a serious, serious obligation now on, you know, you know, the situation because, you know, the, 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 the most veteran practitioners had to be called in from all over the world, really, you know. And uh, Alhamdulillah, I mean, we have a list of countries that they really did come in from, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, and, you know, but other than that, I mean, people here need to get ready. The real weapon is the Qur'an. The real weapon is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it is, and that's the Qur'an. Allah says, Hudan wa Noor. I like the Noor part. Hudan is pretty good. Hudan is excellent. I like them both. Yeah. It goes together. Yeah, Hudan wa Noor. And you're going to leave that for what exactly? Uh, some type of certification and $300,000 a year? That's what's going on. Do you realize that by the time you get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I mean... He's going to be negative? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Oh, <laughs> uh, brother, I feel you, man. I'm with you. I feel <laughs> well, listen, I'm just saying, man. You remember I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> Well, you know, for finishing your sentence. <laughs> so, yeah, bro, not by yourself. And I think some of the things I heard you say earlier. So, I'm the law for Bro, okay. Inshallah, inshallah, you know, we will all be, you know, immersed into the mercy and gratitude of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But uh, really, we need to go to VCU, man. Pick a day, man. Don't 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 stand me up again, man. Seriously, I don't like that. Bro, I'm on foot, man. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you can foot yourself over to VCU any day. Come. On. I mean, let's um let's move for like later on this week because right now I'm in the transition of this work. Work. And the guy this this guy gave me a flim flam doing some contract work and I don't it, it's not nice like today it's, I mean I, I mean well I won't say what it is you know it was really pretty earlier basically but um I mean just we'll hold off until you're ready just give me a call yeah it's gonna be like to, to the middle of this week inshallah because right now I mean just give me a call me. whenever and, and did you didn't you send me Deke's number yeah I did I need to get in touch with that boy man I keep forgetting I got a call right I, I, now I, I, uh, All right, man, let me go. Just ask him.